Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 26 in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023 and in this video I'm going to show you how to create and configure alarms in Windows vCenter Server 8. So why we need a uh, alarm? So basically let's say if you have uh, any incident happening inside your complete VMware infrastructure uh, it may be related to host, uh, ESXi host, it may be related to virtual machines, data center or cluster level or, <coughs> or it could be anything. So if you want to have alerts configured, so if there is an incident happening in your environment and you have not logged into your vCenter server or you are not monitoring all the alerts actively, then it, it can trigger alarm as an alarm on uh, for the specific event for which you have configured alarms and you will get to know okay this is what happening to my vCenter servers and v uh, VMware infrastructure and you can take required actions so let's say if your host went down you and you are getting alarm then it will be very um, good to know like if uh, in before time or maybe you can say the correct time to when your host is uh, um, going down and you can take basically required action to uh, make sure environment is up and healthy so uh, also you can configure alarm to uh, trigger an email or trigger uh, alarms itself or alerts itself in vcenter server so we are going to see how how we can uh, configure those alarms custom alarm how we can enable disable alarms and all so so this is my environment which I'm going to use in this uh, demo environment so I got my vCenter server which is running uh, virtual appliance 8 and then I got my uh, uh, domain controller and a few ESXi hosts so if I show you this is my environment so give me one second so okay here we are so we got our vcenter server and for esxi host i got one cluster created one data center i got few virtual machines also so this is what we have so if i go to vcenter server and go to configure and then we got alarms definition so these are the basically predefined we got a lot of predefined alarms so you can see uh, we have total uh, 316 items here uh, so you can disable enable delete anything so if i filter by uh, what uh, object type you will see a lot of alarm related to cluster already configured and enabled and if you want to filter let's say if you want to filter host so you can see host related alarms we have good amount of alarms related to host also and you can see the status also if i select for disable you will see nothing is disabled and enable you will see a lot of enabled uh, so what it does say like host battery status license error so almost for everything you have a predefined uh, alerts uh, alarm created so same thing if you want to search for virtual machine let's say virtual machine you will see for virtual machine also we got good amount of alerts here and so these alarms are automatically created by default and it, the status is enabled so if i go to like cpu virtual machine cpu is if i want to show you click on edit so this is virtual machine cpu uses you cannot change name or change description because these are default alarms and you can see it is associated with virtual machine but if you want to tweak you can tweak it and click next you will see here uh, select a trigger and if you can see when it, it's going to trigger so you have a, uh, alarms created and also let's let's go ahead and <coughs> basically you can customize this alarm now so if I go and next you will see here what it says so I need to show you so click next and now you will see here uh, VM CPU uses if VM CPU uses is above 75% for 5 minutes then this will trigger this alarm like uh, uh, it will show as a warning so uh, 
uh, what it it will show it will show okay and then second definition is configured if uh, cpu uses is above 90 percent for five minutes then it will show as a trigger uh, critical it will trigger as a critical uh, critical alarm so next if you have uh, email configuration you can set up also it will send you email and repeat you can configure repeat how many times you want to repeat so alarm will repeat a specific interval in minutes to review page and then once you done this you can configure here like vikas at labshandson.com and if you go click next you will see uh, reset alarm uh, reset the alarm when the uh, alarm is reset it will set to the normal and then click next now you have these options so virtual machine setting uh, default at all monitor virtual machine uses and then all virtual machine is applied on all and if 70 percent 75 percent for five minutes then warning 90 percent for five minutes then it will go in critical so these are the things and repeat action every let's say if you want to <laughs> repeat this until unless you have acknowledged or reset to green it will trigger in uh, every every sometime so if you want to let's say uh, configure uh, 300 minutes 500 hours you can configure it and you can save it so it will go ahead and modify the existing alarm so now if i click here you will see the last modified date is changed because since we have just changed the uh, configuration so if i click on edit again we'll see whatever we have configured it's there now let's say uh, you can customize always customize existing alarms but if you have if you want to create you can create uh, your alarm also so let's say alarm hyphen v center i'm going to give a name and you can select uh, which target uh, type you want to associate so v center let's say for testing and then if uh, there are predefined uh, tasks so let's say if we v center uh, service uh, overall health is changed then mark, uh, uh, mark as a critical and send email also to Vikas at labs and so on. Then next and reset to green. If the alarm status is changed, let's say if you have anything, then status change or something you want to add. Otherwise, if you don't want to add, just ignore it. Click next and then you are good. If your vCenter services overall status is changed, it will give you the critical alert, alert in the in the console and also you will get the email also if you have configured the smtp settings cl click on create so now you will see the alarm is created basically if i remove this and i'll select the modified date you can see the alarm hyphen v center is created so same thing <coughs> if you want to create an associate for anything like main alarm okay and if you want to assign with anything you have uh, more than 100 of option for each setting like for virtual machine if i click next you will see here we got uh, different different type of uh, configurations uh, related alarm so uh, you have a lot of options basically and same thing like CPUs is Mapuri, disk related alarms you can see customization if the customization is succeeded you will get alarm if the customization is cannot finish this is prep uh, HA related you have then you have a uh, naming and ID related so you have a lot of alarms here same thing if you go with the host and click next then you will see all the host related host license expired account related if the account is created removed or updated drs you have ha related uh, things then you have a hardware health if the hardware is uh, degraded or something you will get alarm for those things also so inventory related host added removed anything those kind of alerts then you have a alert for clusters also if there is any change or any event happening on cluster like drs ha other options we have in other you can see pool is created deleted move so let's say if someone is deleting creating or 
doing any task and you want to monitor or you want to el uh, trigger alert for those tasks you can create for uh, as per your requirement for data stores also if you want to create let's say if the data is so uh, provision size is going uh, for this uh, above or below then you can 50 percent let's say data store this provision going to 50 percent or 80 percent you can mark as a warning let's say 60 per 75 percent you can mark as a warning and then uh, add another rule if you want to add let's say provision going to above 90 percent then it's mark as a critical so these type of alert also you can set if i click on next you will see if data is so provision size is 75 percent is critical so create some uh, these kind of advanced alert you can create always as per your requirement and all so let's say distributed switch if uh, anything happening related to distributed switch hosts adding removing anything like that you can create and then you have option for distributed port group also if anything related to port group is happening port group created deleted reconfigured rename let's say someone is doing anything related to port group you will get notification data store cluster also if you have a data store cluster and if anything like disk uses or new storage drs recommendation granted and those all kind of information so <clears throat> means you have a lot of options to configure in your infrastructure uh, for al alarms and you will get the notification on email you will get the notification on your vcenter home page like you you see here this is what it's saying uh, alarm we have created and then you have option to go and reset and acknowledge so if you acknowledge it if you reset it you can go ahead and do those things so this is how if i go now triggered alarm you can see if there is any triggered alarm is there you, you will always see that so this is how basically you can create and configure alarms as per your requirement in vcenter infrastructure or vmware infrastructure so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye